Hi everyone! It's time for a lather test! Yes, I'm going to be doing three different soaps here. The first is going to be the Aleppo soap that I made a few months ago. And I'm really excited about this one. So, I'm hoping for the best. It is hard as it can be. <laughs> That's one nice thing about Castile soaps, or in this case, an Aleppo soap. This is my Aleppo Light, is they really do get hard. I like that about it. I'm sure it's a very long lasting soap. This is the cornmeal soap that I made. Um, this was an overpour from it. I just thought why mess up a full size bar when I could use one of these. And the camel milk soap. And this is one that got damaged. So I thought that would be a good one to do the lather test. So we're gonna get started. It has been just a wonderful day today. I worked today, actually, for about five and a half hours, almost six hours. And I really enjoyed it. We'll start with the Aleppo. Actually enjoyed it quite a bit today. Um, I prefer to have two days off in a row, but when I can't, I just make the best of it. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> this feels great. So. Now this is the one that's made with um, the, uh, I am so sorry, the Bay Laurel, Bay, uh, Bay Laurel uh, oil and olive oil. All right. So, wow, it's very creamy. It's not a heavy lather, it's not a heavy but very gentle, very, I like this. And keep in mind, this is only four months old. In a year, by the time it's fully cured, it'll be even better. Lepo or Castile soaps like a long cure time. And I'm just so very pleased with this. Um, and keep in mind, it doesn't have castor oil in it. It doesn't have coconut oil. The things that generally make uh, soaps bubbly and make those bubbles uh, sustain a bit longer. It doesn't have those things. So you're not going to have the big heavy lather. But I really like that actually in this particular instance. Okay, this is the cornmeal soap. Oh, and I can already feel that cornmeal, that exfoliating cornmeal. Oh, that feels nice, actually. <laughs> I like that very much. Here's the lather. <laughs> Rinse that off. Set it aside. This is very nice. Very nice lather. Feels fantastic, actually. <laughs> very nice. And if I haven't, if you're new here or don't know this about me or what I do, the water that I use goes into my garden and the soaps that I use in these tests go into my garden as well. The water goes right into watering plants. It's completely harmless to them the way I do it. Um, the soaps, I generally will put in a stocking or an old sock and hang around. It helps to deter things like deer and other varmints from the garden. They don't like the smell of humans and they associate things like soap and essential oils and those things to us. Okay, the, oh, this is the camel milk. I didn't have a camel stamp, but because it is mammal, I did stamp it with my goat. All right, so I just wanna get a nice bit of that. So this is the camel milk. Oh, just isn't that nice. So creamy. Oh, that feels really, really nice. Oh, it smells great too. It's got those wonderful uh, the frankincense and the myrrh in it. And it really comes out. All right, so I almost forgot to do 
the reindeer milk. That's the one I was most excited about. So here we have it. <laughs> there it is. This is the one I was really wanting to test out and hmm, that smell is tremendous. Peppermint is just wonderful. <laughs> I love that. Oh, aren't we sudsy? Very nice. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Thank you, reindeer. And that's why I brought this little reindeer out. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I'm very pleased. And I realize Christmas is just in a few days, right? And this soap is just getting ready to go in the store. But it's going to be snowy for months ahead. So I think it is still a good wintry fun soap to have. Um, it's just delicious. And what could be better than reindeer milk? It's just wonderful. So if you get a chance, pick one up. I think you'll be very happy. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.